Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. In today's GTA 5 online video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put a RC Bandito inside of your garage in a car slot. So, what you guys want to do first is make sure that you are on the online character that you want to do this glitch with. So, go into an online session, make sure you're on that character, and you guys want to clear out your apartment one slot one. So, make sure that apartment one slot one does not have a vehicle in it because you may lose that vehicle. And once you guys have all of that, you will need an arena workshop and a RC Bandito to complete this glitch. Now, to get started with this glitch, we must come into story mode. If you guys have already eaten this peyote plant, then you do not need to do any of this part with the peyote plant. But we do need to eat this peyote plant to become a bird so we can unlock the bird character or the bird animal for director mode. So we're right here on the map in story mode right here. This is the location, so make sure you guys get this down packed. All right, so we're coming to this location. If you guys got a buzzer or some type of helicopter that you can get to spawn in at the airport or at the hospital, then use it. But I'm using a dirt bike that I found up here on the streets. And I'm just going to ride up the side of this mountain. So I'm at that location that I was just showing you guys. And I'm just going to drive up the side of this mountain the best that I can. We want to take the rubble path right here, like the rocks that are like really rubbly. And we're just going to drive up as best as we can. And the peyote plant is at the top of this. Also, when you get into the online session, I forgot to mention, you guys want to be outside and put your spawn location on last location. So when we respawn into the online session, we'll be outside. And I think that will help the glitch work a little bit better as well. So as you guys can see, we are up here. We made it to the top of this mountain here. And this is the peyote plant. You guys will be able to hear it. If you can't locate it, you'll be able to hear it calling out to help you locate it a little bit faster. And then we'll just hit right on the D-pad to activate the effects of the peyote plant. Getting trippy right here right now. So we are now a bird. So what we want to do is just tap X so we can fly and kill ourselves. It don't take much to kill yourself when you're a bird. When you crash into just about anything, you will die. So check it out right there. I never even made it off the ground. I hit the rock right there and I died. <laughs> Alright, so once you do that, you guys will respawn. We'll be coming out of the animation. And once you guys come out of that animation, you now have that bird unlocked. Alright, so congratulations. We now have that bird unlocked for director mode, which is what we need. Now, if you guys already had that, remember, you don't need to do this part, okay? You can skip past this whole peyote plant, the whole story mode part right here, alright, of finding it. So now what we want to do is open up our phone and force the game to save. So we're going to open up the phone, force the game to save. You can overwrite a slot or save it into a new slot if you want. I'm just going to save it into a new slot right here. And once we save it into a brand new slot, you just want to close the app. All right, so close the app. Open the application back up. When you get back into story mode, you'll see that you are still in the same location, which means it's saved. That's really good. So from here, you guys just want to open up the interaction menu and go into director mode. So from here, I'm just going to open up the interaction menu and go into director mode and select it. Confirm that alert. All right, so we are now in the trailer. From here, you guys want to go into actors, animals, select that. And you guys want to select the bird right here. Now, what you guys want to do from here is take the bird up, fly it a little bit, and crash it so you die once more. When you respawn, we'll be back at the trailer, so you guys just want to select the bird again. Okay? Select the bird once more. And this time, we're going to press start, open up the map. And we're going to set a waypoint up here by the highway. Okay, so up here by the highway is where we want to go right now. So just select that. Put a waypoint right there. And open up the interaction menu and use your location to travel to that waypoint. So just hit once to the left and go to the waypoint by selecting X. Now, once we spawn up here, what you guys want to do is just tap X so you can fly up into the air first. 
all right so we're going to just tap x so we can fly up into the air be very careful because you don't want to die too much doing this part so tap x open up the interaction menu and hover over quit director mode all right so once you are up in the air and flying open up the interaction menu and hover over quit director mode okay you do not need to tap x right here to fly the bird so just be very careful not to crash it and you guys want to wait on a truck like this to come past once a big truck comes past you just want to fly into it like that and double tap x to quit director mode right before the truck hits you and you guys should get this glitch animation screen of the truck killing you running you over and saying wasted now if you guys do not get this and it takes you back into director mode do not worry you can just repeat that process from there just repeat it until you get this animation all right now you'll be on the black infinite loading screen so what you guys want to do is press up on the d-pad and select x to go into director mode again so you'll be able to hear the little ticks of opening up the interaction menu and then when you press up on the d-pad you'll hear the little tick and you just want to select x it's going to take you back into director mode what you guys just want to do here is just go into actors go into online characters and select your gta online character that you are placing your rc bandito on all right so i'm doing this with my first character so i'm just going to select my first character here All right, so we're now in director mode with our online character. So from here, we're just going to hold down on the D-pad and select a story mode character and confirm it. Once confirming that, we are now in story mode with our online character. All right, so we're in story mode now with our online character. From here, we're just going to press start, go to online, play GTA online, and go into a invite only session. All right. Once you get into an invite only session, you guys will be glitched out. None of your cars will be here. That is a very good thing. That means the glitch is working. All right. So what you guys want to do is just order a Fagio. And like I said, none of your cars will be here. So as you guys can see, when I first started this glitch, I was up by my arena and my location was on last location. So that is why I spawned up here by my arena. So that's what you guys could do and maybe want to do at the beginning of this glitch. All right, so I'm just going to order a Fagio, and like I said, make sure Garage 1, Slot 1 is clear because none of our vehicles is here, and it's just going to take it and put it in that garage right there, okay? So that is my first apartment garage right there. That is my first apartment, okay? So that is the only one we will be able to put the Fagio in, and none of your other cars will be there. It's not going to ask you to replace anything. It's just going to place it right in Garage 1, Slot 1 automatically, all right? So now that we have our Fagio ordered, the Fagio has been delivered. I'm just going to call up the mechanic and have him deliver it. All right, call up the mechanic, have him deliver the Fagio. And like I said, apartment one, okay? Slot one. As you guys can see, none of my cars are showing up. So that means we hit the glitch. Now, if you guys can see all of your garages, if you can see the rest of your garage list, that means you missed the glitch somewhere. So you got to go back and I would start this completely over from, you know, using the bird to kill yourself and get that glitch animation screen. So that's where you guys want to start from. But once you do have the Fagio outside, you just want to drive it up to the arena and hop off of it. Do not drive into the arena. Just hop off outside, walk into your arena workshop. Go over to where the RC Bandito is, hit right D-pad so we can start customizing it. And here comes the very, very fun part. We can now get into customizing our RC Bandito the way we want. So go ahead, soup it up the way you want all the way. So now I'm going to customize my RC Bandito to the max, make it look super sick and make a whole lot of people jealous. Yeah, dig. After customizing it, you just want to back out of that menu and exit. And now we're just going to exit the arena workshop as well. When we exit the arena workshop, the Fagio will disappear. And like I said, if your Fagio does not disappear when you exit the arena workshop, if you can see the rest of your cars and garages on your list, then you did not hit the glitch. You want to go back. But if everything is going smoothly for you up to this point, what you want to do once the Fagio disappears, you want to call up the mechanic. And he's going to deliver the RC Bandito. So it's now in slot one, garage one. All right. So it is now in slot one, garage one. So it copied over the Fagio. So that's why I said you guys want to make sure that you do not have a car in garage one, slot one when doing this glitch. Because we're replacing that 
garage slot all right we're replacing that vehicle so be very careful here guys do not lose any of your vehicles when doing this glitch once we have the rc bandito out on the map the mechanic has delivered it we want to take it over to lsc so we can save it so just drive to the nearest lsc the closest lsc to you i mean to everybody it should just be this one if you're at your arena workshop so drive over to the lsc down by the airport and once we get in here, you guys just want to change the livery on it, change something on the vehicle, and select it, back out. From here, hop out of the vehicle, and you guys now want to register as a MC president and return the vehicle to storage. So register as a motorcycle club president, open up the interaction menu once again, and select return vehicle to storage. Now what you guys want to do is press start, go to online, and find a new session. Alright, so we're going to find a brand new session now. This is going to save the vehicle for us. So once you are in that brand new session, you just want to come over to your first garage. Alright, your first garage on the list, your first apartment on the list. Alright, this is where your RC Bandito should now be stored. So I'm just going to walk in over here, and as you guys can see, the garage is still glitched out. We are still glitched out, so we are not quite done with this just yet, but we're almost finished. So hop into your RC Bandito and drive it out. From here, we're just going to blow it up. So put like three to four sticky bombs on the RC Bandito and blow it up. Boom. Okay, so now that we have blown it up, it should be down at Mars Mutual, so I'm just going to call Lester to get the cops off me because you're going to have cops on you if you use four sticky bombs. So just go ahead and get your phone ready to call Lester after blowing that RC Bandito up, okay? Save yourself some time. You're definitely going to get stars. All right, so remove your wanted level. After that, you guys just want to open up your phone once more and call up Mars Mutual so we can reclaim that vehicle. And this is going to officially save the vehicle for us, guys. All right. So we're just saving it twice to be sure that the vehicle does not disappear on us at any point in time. So request that. All right. Make a claim on your RC Bandito. Get it back. All right. It should now be on the map down at Mars Mutual. For me, Mars Mutual is right around the corner from where I'm at. My apartment right now, 3 Alta Street. So what I need to do is run away from this spot because I'm a little bit too close to my uh, RC Bandito to request it. All right, it's over there around the corner over there at Mars Mutual, and I'm just like around the corner from that. So I'm just gonna run down the street a little bit so I can request that vehicle. All right, so open up the interaction menu again so I can request my vehicle. Now, if you guys aren't too close to Mars Mutual when doing that, you shouldn't have that issue of not being able to request your vehicle. You know, you can't request your vehicle if it's already nearby. So that's the issue I was having there. So once we do have the vehicle now, you can hop in it and drive off into the sunset, blow some people up. We got proximity mines, we got sticky bonds, we got EMPs, we got all kinds of stuff on this vehicle, all right? So you can just go around, have some fun with your friends, do a little bit of trolling, and you know, enjoy yourself with this one, guys, because you now have a RC Bandito stored in a car slot in your garage. Now, for the very last step, we want to get ourselves unglitched so all of our vehicles return. So hold down on the D-pad, flick to a story mode character, and go into story mode. Once into story mode, of course, you guys just want to go back online. So start up another invite-only session, and all of your vehicles will be back. You should now be unglitched. When you go over to your apartment, you will see that that vehicle is in apartment one slot one. So we do have the vehicle stored here now with all our other vehicles and the vehicle is officially saved. So congratulations guys, you now have a Odyssey Bandito inside of your garage in a car slot. Very sick, very cool. All right, so people will come into your garages and be like, yo, how did you do that? So make sure you guys jump on this glitch immediately because it may not be working for too much longer. All right, so the only thing with this 
you can drive the car out of a garage but you cannot drive into a garage all right so you must sign into a motorcycle club and then return it to storage through the interaction menu but that is it for this video you guys as always i'm trying to get this channel to 100 000 subscribers and i need each and every single one of you guys watching to hit that like button subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications if you're new please help me help you you guys and keep bringing you these great gta 5 online videos until next time this is your boy glitch guru officially Peace.